Hey guys, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. It is currently Series 16, aka Forza-thon, and we have some brand new cars to check out, and none of them are Fords. We have a pair of MGs, a pair of Renaults, I mean, three new Renaults. So, yeah, forza with no Fords. But today we have one of those new weapons you can check out, and it's actually a, a quite a cool one. Let's go to our festival. This is it. Our MG... MG6 X Power. So this is... So this is... So in case you guys don't know, MG was a kind of an old British sports car company that went kind of bankrupt in like kind of the mid-90s and went out of business. But lately, they've been bought up by... I by I think Geely it is Chinese uh, automaker giant Geely so now they sell car exclusively in China and this is and they made a car called the MG6 which is kind of their which is kind of just their family sedan just kind of front wheel drive compact city car but they had to spice it a little bit and make the special edition X power which has a 1.5 liter engine cranking out 300 brake horsepower I think it's pretty impressive. Over the car looks really good. I love the paint job, like kind of the fade, how it kind of fades to black in the middle of the car, but kind of the lime green stitching on the inside to match the brake calipers. It's kind of a really cool looking car overall. So let me get in and give it a go. So as you can see, we're kind of against some, how do I put it, a bit faster, but more well-known, uh, established, super saloons such as the M2, such as M5s and Mercedes and Jags, but we're going to see if this little, if our little plucky front-wheel drive MG can pull us, can hold something. It's also quite lightweight. Guys, let's see if in the corner we need to get held up by this 1M right here. It, excuse you, but it is quite nippy through the corners. Obviously, a little bit under Scooby, it's front wheel drive, but it is it's a really fun to drive, actually. Like, I was kind of coming into it expecting, like, just kind of. Oh, it's a, I was really going to be like really like heavy and sluggish just because it's 300 horsepower and front wheel, front wheel drive on a... It's not... It would be an excellent combination on a small hatchback, but... I was wearing a sedan like this, it would be too heavy to really have that much performance, and just kind of... But... I'm pleasantly so Okay. Still a little bit under super. I'm pleasantly surprised that... It, it's lightweight, so it does actually kind of have the weight of a... Uh, Hatchback and the, the extended wheelbase does actually kind of help. Uh, it does feel quite stable from the corners because it has a longer wheelbase and a standard hatchback. We couldn't quite get first, but honestly, still a really impressive performance from the MG6. Quite a solid car. Obviously, not like Nissan Z or like. Polestar 1 or anything, but... So let's take our car back to our festival and... I mean, check our garage and see what upgrades we can do this thing. I want to start off with an A-Class soon, but I am actually kind of interested what if... We switched it up a bit and made it rear wheel drive. And rather than front wheel drive. So, engine wise, we have our little Honda inline six and our turbo rally engine. So, nothing nothing too special really whatsoever. I kind of wish we got like a, the maybe the 
a two J zero V eight or something, but we will try. That's this gonna be interesting now. Let me get some air on here. No ugly red toe hook, which I actually, actually can't. I'm kind of a fan of. Uh, well, I'm not a fan of toe hook, but I'm a fan of that they kind of removed it. But I keep our rear wing because it looks cool better than the Forza one. And we will go with that. Unbeatable difficulty. There's nearly five weeks more from when we did it. You upgraded it now, so now it's more of a. Now it's more of a two meter action. Still impressive, but. We kissed all of our understeer goodbye with our reboot back version. Not enough. Not enough to kick the catch up again. Still, this one, yet again, really. Overall, I'm just gonna. Setting this car is just really easy, really nice, and really fun to drive. So now let's. I've worked on a tread max this thing out. It maxes out at like S2, like 904, so. We'll obviously be aiming for something a little bit. But yeah, we'll go all out, but we'll go close enough so we're at the very top of S1 class. We'll stop our Honda engine into it, get some VTEC going. This is actually the most powerful engine you can put into it when fully upgraded. All wheel drive. Ugly force of wing. You hate to see it, but it must be done. Get our super grippy bull. 720 brake horsepower, even this thing's light. All right, here we go. Lungy, unbeatable difficulty. Is that yep? That's a peel. That is a peel P50. Excuse us. Oh, uh, a little bit of racing. Oh, they have the. Actually, our 15, that thing's overpowered. And <clears throat> S1, that yellow car up there. So far, honestly, it's going a lot better than expected. Way a bit under still, but. That kind of has to be expected with yeah maybe a little bit more wheel drive bias would have been nice for this car but every corner we are inching closer to them and then every straight to the pull away okay this is what i'm talking about. once i get it okay yeah it definitely does understeer a bit a bit more rear-wheel re bias would have been nice, or even maybe just rear-wheel drive in general would have been nice for this build, but... Hey, what are you gonna do, and... Yeah. yeah we kinda need the all-wheel drive this year. I... We didn't get the podium finish I wanted, but... Still good showing from the MG. Why don't we... Now, now let's try an A-class rally build, an A-class all-wheel drive rally build. Our little Lincoln Co. is really good at it, so I'm hoping this thing will also shine. We'll give our stock engine a bit, even though we do have the rally four-cylinder. I kind of just want to 
use this engine as much as possible to rally four cylinders like on everything. Oh, we can even build a B class rally car if we wanted to. I kind of want to stick with A class. Yeah, I have a feeling that this thing's gonna be really good again. There. Yeah, in memory, the king will rock up the Ken Block livery. Yeah, it just you need know, to send it to the corners, it feels like. Couldn't quite get the job in the end, but a good showing nonetheless. Pretty good car drive. Ah, oh, felt a lot. Uh, I'm more understeering the cars than I thought I was gonna be. I guess since we're kind of down on power, we'll do rear wheel drive drift too. There. Let's see how this thing can slide. So far, absolute smoke machine. Honestly, yeah, it's been a while since I built this kind of a low powered rear wheel drive drift car. I say low power, so it was like 600 horsepower, but that's, that's nothing compared to some of the other drift cars in this game. Yeah, the only shows it was like really big corners. Pretty good score, pretty, pretty good drift car, I think this probably be better for like some of the smaller drift zones. Here, actually, yeah, we'll try one last thing, it's quickly, maybe a bit of a more tighter, nippy drift zone.
We're like one thousand points. We be our best. So yeah, should be good drift kind of the tight in like a tired drift zone. Well guys, this is the MG MG6X power. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's overall really fun car driving pleasantly surprised, expecting it to be kind of a it's kind of a slug, just kind of underwhelming on this whole car, but really a fun Nicky car driving any configuration. Uh next week we'll be checking out the other MG Advocate. It's actually the touring car version of this car. So to see how it stacks against the the Lincoln Co. touring car, but Thank you guys for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another Forza Horizon 5 video. Goodbye!